Okay, so today I'm going to help you out with the summary that you're working on for word building. Now, a couple of you I noticed have already finished this, so this will be a nice review for you, um, and you can sort of compare and contrast your summary with mine, or at least the beginning of it, to see how you did. I'm going to teach you a strategy called GIST. It stands for Generating Interactions Between Schema and text, and that's just a fancy way of making connections um, between what's in the text and in your brain in order to come up with a summary. There are four steps to GIST. The first one is to delete unnecessary or repetitious material. The next one is to collapse details and examples into broader categories. Then you find key ideas, and those include who, what, where, when, why, and how. And then you use the author structure. So depending on how the author put his or her ideas together, that's the way you're going to put your summary together. And some examples of structure include description, enumeration, which is just a list, and that one did show up in this particular article, at least in the introduction. Cause and effect, chronological order, comparison, contrast, and problem and solution.